Oh my god, I finished! Welcome back, friends. We have finally reached Perilous Moons after a while of grinding so that we can grab our last final pieces of gear to work on some TOA and beyond. We managed to nab our Blue Moon Magic and Blood Moon Melee set on the average amount last episode. Blue Moon set is storable and will be my best magic gear for a very long time. The Blood Moon is also my best melee gear for a while, although not storable, so it is temporary. The Blood Moon set though is super nice with effect as it speeds up my next attack sometimes for extra damage. And the dual maracas that comes with it is a decent stab weapon as well, which is going to be crucial for bosses like Akka, Baba, and TOA. Make sure to like the video if you're excited for more Juan Bag Ray content. Anyways, let's prepare for TOA and grab ourselves a massive inventory space upgrade. Alright, so we have a lot of things to take care of. Right now, we should take care of the Tar and the Harlander. Hell yeah, this is going to be some really good XP on Herblord though. 72 XP a pop. A first real Herblord level in a while. Like, we're actually training. But yeah, definitely is going to help with getting Sony Herblord and beyond. Okay, the Swamp Tar is done. And unfortunately, this thing is worth like literally 1 GP. Oh, sick. Nice, look at that. He can unnote the bones for us. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're gonna bless this thing. So that way, I can turn these into blessed worm bones and then do this. And stack it into the blessed shards. I guess there might be some other bosses in the future where we might get a lot of noted bones. And yeah, I think I'll just do this method. Turn it into bone shards. We're gonna do this a little bit different from uh, usual, but we're not gonna do it today because we don't have time. I am going to get some sunlight bolts for my sunlight crossbow coming up. And those things also drop sunlight splinters, so we can actually make some like higher tier wines to get more XP off of this. So we're going to save this. If this is your first time, this is what AFKing, Fletching, and Woodcutting has done for us. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're rich. I got five bajillion dollars. I mean, five mils. I hope this is enough for what I'm about to do. Because we're going to make the marble lectern for some tabs. And we're going to build a tier 1 or 2 nexus. Yeah, it's time to upgrade, guys. It is time. Okay, marble lectern. I need one as well. I need a magic stone, so we'll buy that. Ouch. Holy shit, a magic stone is 1 mil. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, we got to buy a few things here. So this is the lectern that was 1.5. 5 mil GP. The last thing we need for now. Damn. Lost half our gold. But yeah, we're going to build a tier 1 nexus and the demon lectern. I want to say it's this room. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We're going to build the best one so that way we can make both the home teleport and the bones to peaches. We're also going to build a nexus right here. We're going to make the first tier. Unfortunately, tier 2 is a little bit too expensive right now so this lets us store four teleport which is good enough because i'm gonna put varak in here bother in here and also the herb patches when i complete uh making friends with my arms that's so much i forgot nexus require like 10 times the amount of teleport runes two teleports i want to say that was like 600k well, let's do it there we go sweet now we can get to follow during wreck just through the house telly. Sweet. All the soft clay is made into house tabs. This is really nice for when I start using things like brawls because I want to, you know, free up the rune pouch for those other types of runes and I can still go to my house conveniently. I got to sell these darts and I'm trying to maximize my money and the legend skill shop does the same value buys at 55% but the price value only drops by 1%. There's other stores like the Rogue's Den that buys the first item at 60%, but the value drops by 2%. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly sell a bunch of stuff. And the value is still pretty good, as you can see. I got 3,000 the first, 10, 2,000 the, the next one. We are officially done selling all the asshole darts. I made uh, freaking 2.3 mil. 
That almost covers for the stuff that I bought at my house yesterday. Let's add the Arty Telly to the Nexus. Cost it like 400 something K, but... Yeah, we gotta use that auto money. Now we're feeling a little baller. We gotta use up the blessed bone shards. So we're gonna go hunt some sunlight antelopes. Make some sunlight bolts and get some sunlight splinters to use with these bone shards. About 40 of these will be enough to use up all these bone shards. Alright, I think that's 40 right there. So that should be more than enough sunfire splinters. As long as I use these bolts strictly for bossing... I don't think uh, the prep will be too bad. I also get Hunter XP, so that's always nice too. So we use this on the wines. And we do everything else as normal, right? Just bless them. Now it's blessed. This should be from 5 XP per shard to 6 XP per shard. So a 20% increase. Pretty big deal. Another thing to keep in mind is... Uh, there we go. We just got one prayer level off of these bone shards. Maybe I'll get another one. I'm not really sure. All right. We are now done with all the bone shards from Perilous Moon. And got us nearly two prayer levels. Now it is time to work on the actual TOA requirements. The quest stuff. So I actually have to do Prince Ali Rescue before I can do Contact. All right, another quest done. Two more to go. Can I use this shortcut now, finally? Hell yeah, sweet. Told me to range, but honestly, Zombie Axe is uh, way too OP. But we did make this Silent Crossbow, though, because we are going to have to range for the next quest, for sure. Nice. Finish the task while we're at it. There we go. Contact done. Beneath Cursed Sands. Let's get it. Should be a decent challenge. All right, first fight of the quest. All right, no overheads. All right, good hits. All right, this is going to be a close one, boys. Can we do this in one try? Good hit. Another good hit. All right, boys, 16. Lay it on him. Lay it on him. Get him. Nice. Oh, one try, but a very close call. Mm, yeah, I just gotta retry because unfortunately I took a 50. Oh, this guy's maging now. That's annoying. It's not always range. There we go. Nice. That's it. There it is. Beneath Curse Sands done. This thing's gonna come in handy too uh, when I do some more crafting the uh, circular water and the carrots parson. Uh, I guess we we keep that because we're gonna use that at Kefri. All right, nice. Got our mage gear. Pretty much gonna be the first time we use all three styles, you know, for some pretty big content. Hmm, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go with this initial experimental setup. But we do have a pretty commendable setup for all styles. And of course, we have some Ancients with us and our Warp Scepter for the uh, auto cast, like a Trident. Nice. We can just use this Fairing to get to TOA, so pretty convenient. We have unlocked a new storage. Yep, you can store any pickaxe here. It's for the Aka Puzzle Room, so we can just grab a Rune Pig and eventually D pick here whenever we want. So that's going to be really nice. The raid level is already 150, so this is already like predetermined as the default here. And let me just see if this is really what I'm looking for here. Unfortunately, we can't do hardcore run because if we actually die in this, like it actually breaks the looting bag and all that stuff. All right, I don't want to spend too much time right now, but I think this is a decent 150-ish invo to work with here. Yeah, okay, I still remember this a good bit, so that's good. Looks like the muscle memory is still there somewhat. Oh shit, I forgot. Oops, I was supposed to go the other way. Alright, Sunlight Crossbow, do your thing, man. Use that amazing speed. Oh shit, dang, I forgot the poison hits a 6 though, so that's kind of rough. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, honestly, dude. 
Carefree works really smooth, man. Uh, four minutes, not even that bad. God, this guy's gonna take a while. There we go. Come on. Yes, we got him. We got him. Hell yeah. All right. How slow was that, though? Seven minutes. God damn. Yo, we're going to use our blue moons for the first time. This is going to be sick. So we're going to butterfly this guy just because I feel like my melee is so bad. So, And luckily, with salt, we're going to be absolutely uh, roided up. Damn, yo, this crossbow is going good. Damn, when you're salted, it's so much better. Like, holy. Oh, 22 max. Oh, yeah, let's go. All right, I remember. I'm good. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yes. Oh, man. All right, well, we have a problem because I don't have any more food. I can probably still do this because uh, I'll just run around like, like an idiot. All right, so they made it so that I can one-shot them now, right? Sweet. Definitely a really fast pace compared to when I lasted this. Destroy them. Destroy all of them. And also they explode too, so that's really awesome. Jeez, but I, I know they lowered his melee damage though, so that's going to help a lot. Okay, there we go. Now we're hitting. Watch this. Sneak attack! <laughs> I remember doing this in leaks, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. We freaking survived. Let's go. Okay, we should be okay now, because I'm gonna get a lot of supplies. So we're gonna get all this food. We should be in the clear now. Good luck, us. I think we're gonna go range. I think it's my best bet. Just because the the speed should be okay. Oh, I'm hitting really good. Okay. Yeah, at 150, the defense isn't so bad. But damn, we already spent 40 minutes doing this, though. This is, like, so freaking long. Oh, oh, shit. I, uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot to stall this. So, uh, we need to stall it right now. Come on. I got it. Yes. What? It still hit me. Come on. I should be able to hit through his defense. There we go. But damn, this is going to take like an hour though. Holy shit, just to do a 150. Yeah, we definitely need to train our stats and, and upgrade our gear too, for sure. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. I have zero brews now. I have no more food other than the Ambrosia now. Let's try melee. Okay, melee slapping right now, boys. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, what the hell? Why are we... Oh. Bro, just kill it. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, that was... That was crazy. I know that this might seem really close, which it was, but at least I know what to do to make this a lot easier next time. Oh, that was crazy, though. That was actually crazy. Of course, we're not going to get anything, but look at all these points, though. That's crazy. Holy shit. How close are we to the medium combat achievements? 11. All right, surely we're going we're gonna to just get this done, right? Well, let's see what we get. No milking. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, the death runes, though. That's really good. So they're gone now, and we're going to get ourselves a XP lamp from this lady. More than anything, I think my range is uh, lacking the most right now. Hell yeah, we'll take that. I have changed some invos and added a few small things. Made sure we have maximum food now without the penalty one for food. Added the lively larvae. No, was it blowing mud? Added that. And the jungle japes, those don't really affect me too much. And we get some free invos. Dang, I had to 69 though with a Karis. Oh my god, please just fucking die. Holy shit, that sucks. Alright, well, I think this one we might be kind of fucked right now. Just because I only got one food for Akka. We'll do what we can to survive. 
Holy shit, that animation though is really bad. Holy shit, this animation. Oh my god. This is not the way to go. Holy, okay, good. Good thing I, I know my timing, but what the f***? Oh, I got it. Let's fucking go. A lot of it's just being rusty, to be honest, but we were gaming. We were gaming. Let's go. Nice. We have way more food for this boss this run, so we're definitely doing something a lot better on this boss fight. Hit a five, please. Ah, oh, nice. We got it. Hey. Hmm. What we get? Whoa. Holy shit. 14 snapdragons. Yes. Yes. That is fucking amazing. We gotta put this back on staff for the first part of the raid. Don't forget. There we go. All right. We're gonna get ourselves a bone dagger. I feel like the defense reduction will really help here. And I have plenty of specs. Let's just try to do Baba first. See what happens. Make the raid a lot more efficient. So it's worth investigating. Cool. All right. We managed to do it. Just got to blood barrage a bit more and we're fine. And the trick is surprisingly to wear mage gear because I splashed a lot before. Even with uh, any of these. So. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We were able to do Baba first, I guess. Well, let's see. We gotta actually kill the boss now. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I was short one food, but... Hey, nice. We did a combat task? I don't know how, but we did. There we go. Oh, being on stab makes such a difference, guys. Holy... Okay, let's... Let's go to Zed back now. I feel like we really have it together now on this third run. I need you to attack. Oh, get wrecked, kid. All right, let's see how fast this goes now that we're assaulted. Oh my god, that was twice as fast. <laughs> that was crazy, almost twice as fast. I'm gonna say it was like seven to nine minutes. But yeah, Croc is like four and a half minutes or something. Of course, we have the Bone Dagger now too, so I'm sure that helped. Yeah, nice. Consistent three downs even without using the spec, so I can save some HP. Hey, sub 50 though, that's huge. All right, here we go. Oh, Dragon Medhelm. That's actually really good. Because uh, I can make a stash unit with that. <laughs> Ooh, I can hit 26s. Uh, oh my god. Look at that dodge, baby. Dang. Alright, yeah. Okay, I feel like with the Blood Moon set stab, I feel like I can probably push to 200s pretty soon. Because, yeah, I had no problem demolishing Akka. Come on. Oh, so close. Just get it. Nice. Oh, another PB. Ooh, damn, 44 minutes. Hell yeah, we're getting a lot better at this. Oh, no way. What a troll. Ooh, 73 Hunter. Oh, Black Chin Chompas. Um, sure, I probably won't catch those, but... Yeah. If you are gonna do these guys for whatever reason, getting bolts, definitely get yourself a Law Basket, man. This, this is so nice. Like, I don't even bother cutting these regular trees. I just fill up, like, all oak log fill up a bit in my inventory. And then I I send, like, I guess 40 of these in a row. No cutting in between, and it's so much nicer. We're averaging, like, 70k Hunter XP an hour, so that's pretty good. Alright, we're gonna bump up the info a little bit here. Just because I realized over the draining, I didn't have that on. I basically only used the Bone Dagger once per boss fight. Alright, much better. Okay, there we go. All right, this time we're going to make sure we pick our food up. Okay, that was nice. Even the 175 uh, Baba we managed to do pretty well. Ooh, nice. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. 175 is working not too bad so far. Definitely the rates have gone slower for sure. Adding all that extra invos, meaning the HP and stuff goes up, but reaching kind of like the peak comfort zone before it's not comfortable we look good 5kc i got some cash though oh oh ranars yes 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 definitely worth it just for the seats alone man snaps and ranars already sheesh Ooh, damn this thing sells for a lot of money at least let's go oh come on dude ah that's so stupid man Fucking monkey Maybe it's time for the thread. Oh, 
Oh, I got it. Yes. Yes. I got it. I got it. I got it. How do I make it, though? Do I need a needle? Oh, I need a needle. Let's go. We got it. Yes. Instantly uh, space saved. Oh, thank goodness, man. Hell yeah. That's our uh, number one goal done here for now. You know, for, for phase one. I call it phase one. All right, boys. The 75 crafting has been prepped a while ago. For so many things, but of course, one of them was to make the Divine Rune Pouch. Let's freaking go, man. Yes. Easy game. And the Divine Rune Pouch, look at that. Instant space back. Let's go. All right, guys. Now that we do have an extra inventory space, I've decided to bring an anti-poison because one anti-poison lasts one Kefri Rune. Just because right now it's just one ranger that poisoned me. So I can just drink one after the ranger dies and I'm good. So that's already four raids right there. Oh, nice. Okay. A little bit sussy, but we managed to do the 185, Bubba. Okay. There you go. I drink the anti-poison and we're cruising. Area salts. Jeffrey, not too bad as always. Oh, no. All right, we got it. We got it. Nice. All right. Okay. 185 seems good so far. Nice. Nice. Come on. Three down this. There we go. The specs proccing. Yes. If the specs proc, we can definitely do down this. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Whoa, I'm lagging. Bro, what is this lag? Oh, no way. Internet. Ah! No, please. Bro, what the hell is this lag? Oh, come on. That's bullshit, man. Come on. Oh, yes. The specs. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. Look at how many. What? Holy shit. That was crazy, bro. I did like seven procs in a row, dude. If you didn't know what it does, it makes the next attack one tick faster. So I did like five in a row. So that means I got a whole extra hit on that phase. That's crazy. Oh, I got it. Yo, nice. There we go. That's not bad. 185 is uh, very doable. Uh Oh, man, the gold ore. Hmm. Gem be a rip. Nah, it's fine. I can just put it on the blue moon boss. Oh, the snapdragons. Yes. 